Well, it's Sunday morning. I wasn't really going to... Hey, Bo, hold up. I was going to hold off on filming for a few days. So this might be... Hey, Bo. Uh, but I think I'll let Bo run up and visit with Mr. Hank. Bo. Bo here. Bo here. Bo here. That's the uh, e collar. I'm uh, kind of reinforce Bo trying to reinforce her training. She's been real awful uh, the last three days, including the tail end of the California trip. I just want to make sure there's no bikes anywhere. Okay, go. Okay, do that. Bobo, here. Come on. Here. Some kind of turkey. Hey, Bo. Seriously, Bo? <laughs> this is something we've never seen before. First, I thought it was rain, but what happened is we had so much frost last night, and now the frost is melting off on all these trees. It's a very strange phenomenon. Uh, okay, we're out of that. It's like a little rainforest, Bo. Bo, here. Good girl. Oh yeah, here's another example of the uh, frozen ice rainforest. It's really neat. Hey, Bo. Here. All right, this is actually the first. Oh, well, it was a squirrel also, but there's also a black dog right there. I thought she was looking at the squirrel. Bo. right there in the middle of that tree. Oops. I'll probably never get that. Shoot. Bobo. Well, we're here in what's probably skunk country, although we never smelt any skunks here, and I was just about to give up looking. Bo hasn't given up yet. I was trying to bounce that ball off the levee back to me, and I threw it a little too far, but uh, it's right there. <laughs> Okay. 
Hey, Bo, I found it. Come on. Oh, come on up. Whoa. Ow. Hey, no, no. Hey, Bo, come on. This, this dog here is out of control. Okay, walk. Uh, November 30th, 47 degrees. It feels like 37 because it's kind of windy. Uh, that there's Bo. Hey, Bo. End of the line. Here she comes. Here she comes again. Nice job, Bo. That's not the one I threw, Bo. <laughs> Go on, get your head under the water there, Bo. It's the only way you're gonna get it. Go on. <laughs> nice job. Bo, bring it. Oh, well, she tried. That's a good try, Bo. Yeah, uh, this is the same squirrel as yesterday. Amazing. I wonder why he's just sitting in that same holler in the tree two days in a row. It must be like a favorite place of his to sit there in the tree. Not gonna be a whole lot of action. I got Bo here on the leash for her own safety. All right, come on, let's move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bo, let's go. Well, it's Monday, now it's three o'clock, uh, 50, 50 something, 57 degrees? That can't be right, 54 degrees. Um, then there's Bo, we're doing a quick afternoon walk. Maybe see Mr. Cougar, likely. Here she comes. Bobo, stay up here. Come on. Bo, come on. Bobo, come on. We got these two little dogs coming up on us. We're gonna uh, try to pick up the pace a little bit. 
Come on, Bo. Come on. Seriously? I'm trying to pick up the pace, not pee. All right, we're gonna just duck down the stairs right here. This way, uh, Bo will be able to kind of hang out down here and avoid those dogs. And uh, that's a nice stick. She already, she's already swam today. I'm not sure if she's fixing to want to swim again, but we'll find out here, probably here pretty soon. I'm guessing if I can get that stick. I have to throw it like a spear. There's something dead in there. That's, oh, it's a fish. Is that literally a dead fish? That's a god darn salmon right there. All right, she's rolling in it. Go on, Bo, get it. Go on. Go on. Please. Rinse off that dead fish. Go on. Good girl. This is the time of the year where the fish is spawned and such. And Hey, don't even think about that, Bo. And we got to be careful about her uh, eating the salmon or just rolling in fish. Uh, hey, Bo, I want you to go swimming, actually. That's something you're willing to do? No? Shoot. All right, come on. Oh, geez. Hold on. Yeah, let's get out of here. You smell. Go. Go on up. Go. Come on. I didn't see that. I thought it was just a pile of smelly leaves, but it's indeed dead fish. If I had that stick that I didn't throw in the water, I would use that stick and kind of put that carcass away. Oh, jump in. Go on, jump in. Go on. That one tennis ball. Hey, Bo, 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 Easy. Come on, Bo here. Bo here, here. Come on. Uh, wrong way. Probably looking for another fish. Hey, Bo, seriously? Oh, please go get that stick. Oh, she's gonna get the stick. Go on, get it. Go on. I forgot about the stick, all right. Go on. Encouragement. Get one of those. It smells so gross down here. Go on. Let her sort this out herself. I know she wants to go in. Go on, Bo. Fetch it up. Go on. Get your butt in the water. Go on. Go on. That's a good girl. Go on. Can't remember if there's a dead fish down there or not. It probably is. And she's walking up there for no god darn reason uh unless she's trying to get closer to the stick but i doubt that is her aim i'm gonna shock her if i see her rolling in anything i think she's going after a dead fish that's typical uh all right bo come on bo here if you're gonna get the stick or come on back it's too far away now just got to trust that she wants to go swimming, not try to... Nope. Hey, Bo here. Bo here. Here. Bo here. Oh. Go on, fetch it up. Go on. Fetch it up, Bobo. Go on. No idea what she's thinking now. Go on. Huh. 
Is she stuck? Can you tell if she's stuck? No, I think she's just contemplating whether she wants to swim or not. Go on! It's kind of far now there. It's kind of far, Bo. It'd be a lot easier for you to swim back. Kind of a yeah, good girl. Come on. Not a hundred percent swimming. It's more of a wade. She likes to do that now. Uh, okay, Bo here. Bo, Bo here. Come on. Bo here. Here. here <sighs> come on Bo come on up here don't go to that dead fish come on good girl nice job all the way all the way come on come on move it good girl run run like you never ran before this is what we consider running I guess <clears throat> Okay, hey, hold up, Bo. All right, go on. Now, we're at this little park here by my house where they have a cougar statue. We call the statue Mr. Cougar. Hey, Bo. Bo, here. Here. Come on. Thank you. There's a good look at him right there. Bo, bring it. Bring it. Bo, bring it. Bo, bring it. This ain't working at all. Bo, here. Nope, forgot the ball there, Chief. Go on, get that ball. Go on, get it. Go on. Try to throw the ball through the gazebo. Bo, here, here. Anyways, that's what we do, I guess, on the afternoon walks. Where's the ball, Bo? We'll just cut through the gazebo here, see if we can find it. She almost ran out in the parking lot. Hey, Bo, I see the ball. Hey, Bo, find the ball. Bo, ball. Is that poop? Nice job avoiding that poop on the concrete there. Ball, where's the ball? There it is. Nice job. Stand down. Come on.
We got two, two half sister golden doodles. <laughs> hey. Oh, you're putting your place on. Look at that. <laughs> is that Bo growling? Bo, is that you growling? All right. All right. Hey, that's enough. <laughs> hey, Bo, Bo, take it easy, Bo. Bo, here, Bo, here, here. Come on. Bo here, come on. Bo here. Yeller. Thank you. Well, this person's coming up right there. I'm gonna maybe call this walk good. Masking up. So she's either sick or about to be. Hey, Bo, come on. Let's go. Bo, here. All right. No jumping. No wild jumping, Bo? You too tired? Come on. <laughs> well, uh, thus endeth the afternoon walk. That's pretty good. Oh. Got a package right here. It's always like Easter. Whenever a package arrives, I never really know when, when it, where it's set because I have no front door. Uh, check on this. It's coming around pretty good. Yeah, got some a rib, some chicken there, as you can see. Boom. Well, it's uh, Tuesday, December 1st, 41 degrees. We're attempting a 100% leashless walk today. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Hey, Bo. Bo, Bo, here. Car coming. Don't, Bo. Here. Stand down. Stay right there. <laughs> Hi. She almost attacked that lady. I didn't want her to do the attack. Well, the attack is on. Anyways. Here she comes. With the ball. Yeah, we're gonna check down, check out uh, the mud flats here. There's actually a lot of birds. Oh, I forgot about the freaking fish. Hey, Bo, Bo, here. There's she running on the mud flats like she does. I just gotta make sure there's no, this is probably prime location for fish dead fish uh, really got to scout the area here pretty good I'm not seeing any dead fish though so okay there's a lot of birds look at all these ducks Bo Are you seeing all this I'm standing on top of this old drum that's half the year is submerged and half the year it's uh, um, not submerged. Uh, but I'm trying to get Bo to go out in the water. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this. There better not be a fish right there. Bo, here! Bo! Bo, here! That's my mean voice. I gotta put down the stick I have in my hand. Bo, Bo! Here! Here! I'm sorry. 
Okay. There's a cat right there. See that cat? That's what Bo's been looking at. Hey, Bo, come on. Let's go. Yeah, it turns out it was a dead fish that Bo uh, was checking out earlier and then that she uh, uh, went to the bathroom on, but she didn't eat any. And it's definitely a salmon. And I just walked by, I can smell another dead fish in there. So this is just not the best time of the year. Okay, Bo, Bo here, Bo here. So I gotta be more mindful, Bo, Bo. And I make sure she doesn't roll in these fish or eat them because they're poisonous. Go check out this little area. I'm coming, hold up Bo. All right, now we're at swimming hole number two. I don't smell any fish down here, but I'm gonna to try to stay close. Now, if anybody would smell dead fish, it'd be this dog. Uh, I'm just trying to scan the shoreline. Hey, Bo. Bo, here, here. Okay, it looks safe up to this point here. Come on, come on. And then, uh, Let's just scan this area here. Okay. Problem is, they're so hard to see. Like, where's that fish we saw on Sunday? Do you remember, Bo? No, it was yesterday. fish that's just a log looking thing all right looks pretty clear come on bring it Bring it. Nice job, Bo. <laughs> I got a little greedy and threw it in three times and she retrieved twice and she didn't get it the third time. So right now, this little trick that I learned, taught myself is to try to use the kind of the back current of the rocks I'm throwing push the ball back to me because uh, Bo's not really retrieving it. <sighs> it's still a little far. Yeah. The risk of this approach is that sometimes you hit the ball and it goes the wrong way. Bo, would you please get that ball, please? Go and get it. Go on. Fetch it up, Bo. Please. Go on. Good girl, bring it. Nice. Bring it. Good enough. Yeah, now we're at this secretive little cove, which I'm sure we've been down sometime before in our lives. But uh, there's more coves now that the tide's out. And uh, I gotta scan the fish again. Hey, Bo, come here. Too far. Bo, here. Yeah, discipline. Bo, come on. You really don't want your dog to be eating these fish during the uh, post spawning season uh, when these fish die on us and then they get poisonous. So uh, we're just gonna try to stay here in this little cove best we can. This is a nice stick though.
Hey, Bo. Check it out. That's probably a fish. Burial ground right there. Resorting to the ineffectual whistle to try to get her by me. Okay. Actually, there's something's up. Ah! <laughs> That's a pretty heavy log. I don't know sure if she can bring it up. Come on, Bo, bring it. Or just chew on it. There you go. All right, we've been throwing these sticks. These are interesting sticks. They don't float. We encountered one yesterday. I've been throwing a lot of them. There's one right there in the water. This is kind of cruel, but I think she... Yeah, I just sunk like a stone and uh, she ain't going in for that anyway. You can fool her once or twice, but uh, not three times apparently. All right, let's roll. Oh, I will say that for next time, I guess. If I remember where the secret of Cove is. Uh, is this where we came down through? Yeah, I think it is. All right, come on. A lot of good sticks here. Well, looks like Hank's out, but he's at the neighbor's house. I'm not sure if we should visit. Well, the neighbors just went inside. You wanna go and visit? Hey, Bo, hold up. Gotta check for cyclists. Bo, here. Bo, here. Here. Bo, here. Come on. She hates this. Bo. Yeah, this is torture. Just gotta make sure she doesn't run across the road. Hey, Bobo, hold up. Bo, hold up, hold up. Okay, coast looks clear. There she goes. Ah, I can't even whistle. Bo! Here! Here! Bo, here! Come on! Bo, here! Slow going. Bo, here! Bo, here! <laughs> Bo! Bobo here. Come on. Bobo here. Come on. All the way. Nice job. Sort of. Well, so far this has been 100% leashless and we're just about done. She's got to run down this hill and get her past Harley's house. Uh, at my mom's house, Pleasanton, California, everything's leashless pretty much because there's straight access to this huge sports park, which we, we sure did enjoy quite a bit. And uh, it's just hard getting her back on the leash.
you'll notice she didn't attack me because she's eating the uh, grass sod. And so what she's wanting to do now is just kind of avoid me instead of attack me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. See that avoidance? Uh, there's not a whole lot of traffic out right now. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna try to risk it. Hey Bo, get out of the street. Thank you. Yeah, Hardy's in the backyard. We heard him bark her barking. Come on, Bobo. But we're gonna pull this off. This is the first ever 100 percent leash lift walk going north on the Columbia River, Richland, Washington, December 1st, 2020. I mean a lot of dogs do it. Bo's just never done it. Just gotta make it home. Come on. Come on, Bo. Come on. Go. This is the house with the controversial chickens. Uh, I don't see them out right now. They sure as hell were out last night. Bo, come on. Oh. Let's go. Maple tree. It growed up pretty good. Year one. We got high hopes for, for next year. Everybody does. But mostly my high hopes are getting that tree grown up a little bit. And more uh, leashless walks. Oh. Bring it! Nothing. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit after five o'clock and it's 42 degrees, but it feels like 32 degrees. It feels much cooler uh, than earlier today, even though the temperature is approximately the same. I can't figure out why. It must be either uh, my phone is wrong. Hey, Bo, don't eat up the sports field. Or maybe because the sun is just about set. Uh, I guess we're gonna do an urban walk. Uh, the main thing is I wanted her to do afternoon poop, but she normally don't poop in the afternoon, but I haven't been tracking her, her daily poops the last couple of days. I've been working and her walks have been kind of off. Um, Bo, Bo, here. Well, I'm just trying to scan this antique shop. See if there's any coat trees in there. I bet there's likely to be some. We haven't been there in about a year since uh, February. When John and Becky came to visit late February, pre-pandemic. Hey, Bo. Well, I guess we're gonna do an urban walk and go see Mr. Grizzly Bar, call it good. Come on. Well, there's a Canesseria update, still under renovation. And then, uh, hey, Bo, come on, come on. Hey, Bo, 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 Grizzly Bar. Yep. Shut down because of the California guidelines. Upstairs. Nice jump. Well, now that Bo's, uh, finished attacking me like she likes to do. I can report that it's 8 a.m. on 
on Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020, 29 degrees. That there's Bo way up there. Um, we're about to go for a little walk here after she uh, poops. Here she comes. All right, we're approaching swimming hole number two. There's a lot of ducks down there. Uh, it's definitely duck season for Bo. Uh, let's see if we can check a couple of them out. Uh, keep in mind, for dead fish. Uh, they can float up any day. So we were here yesterday and uh, it was clear. Bo, river ice. Bobo. River ice. Check it out. Right here, look. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah. Well, river ice. Bring it. Well, we're almost up to the volleyball pits, but uh, I'm gonna see if Bo wants to drink water and uh, see if there's any ducks that we can scare up. Hey Bo, there's more river ice. I don't see any fish. You're not gonna be able to smell them at this temperature because uh, it takes kind of the midday sun to warm them up when they're rotting on you. And then you can get that rotten smell in your nose. Now that's for a human. Bo's likely, likely to uh, be able to smell rotten fish even at 29 degrees and she'd, she'd enjoy that smell. sure what she's up to now. Ah, she's just hanging out, I guess. Alright, All right, go. I don't know if she's ever seen this many ducks all in one place. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that. That's that pheasant we saw last year, Bo. Right there. See it, Bo? Bo, Bo. Pheasant at uh, two o'clock.
Oh, dog coming up here. What's he doing? Putting her on a leash. Okay, hey Bo, let's put you on a leash. Yeah, it's bothering me that Bo didn't see this pheasant. So we're gonna see if we can flush him out, I guess. Oh, well, not quite what we had in mind. Bo, here! Oh, sticker. Bo, come on. Well, I don't think Mr. Pheasant's there anymore. Bo, come on, here. Stop antagonizing the dog. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Come on. Go. Ready, go. Take it easy, Bobo. Bo, down. Sit. Oh, she doesn't want to do that. No, Bo, stand down. <laughs> well, that was Mr. Pepperoni, man. He uh, showed us some photos he just took. There's a dead tree somewhere on this river, been dead for nigh on 20 year, and there's a large eagle in it eating a small bird. He's, uh, he verified it by looking at the photos that he took, but I don't know if we're gonna find this particular dead tree. There's one, no eagle. Uh, the only clue we have is that it's dead and it's on the right hand side or the west side of this little path that we're walking on so we'll have to kind of keep our eyes out It'd be interesting it'd really cap off this morning video quite well if we can get some footage of an actual eagle instead of that elusive uh, pheasant <clears throat> more ducks too slow Bo come on That could be the tree right there we're looking for. I don't see no eagle though. Well, thus endeth today's walk, morning walk. Hey Bo, where are you going? I guess now the attacks are pre-walk, not post-walk. That's interesting. Bo, here. Stand down. Stand down means stand down. Thank you. What you doing back there, Bobo? Uh, we're running a couple quick errands. This is the second of the two quick errands. Kind of our lunchtime errand running with Bo there. place we haven't been to in quite a while and we have to stock up for the winter for the dark winter yeah well it's a pretty good haul a bunch of sausages and uh, one rack of short ribs and um, and some chicken thighs 99 cents a piece it's all good value but most of the stuff is simply sides that I smoke along with the briskets and Bo enjoys these as sides she also enjoys, uh, enjoys the brisket also obviously okay oh.
Well, come on. Oh. Yeah, she got sidetracked. Chewing on the on the grass there. Bo, bring it. Yeah. Well, it's 317 on uh, when Wednesday? What the hell day is it, Bo? Wednesday, yeah. Uh, December 3rd. 42 degrees. Uh, there's Bo. And uh, she's probably smelling some dead fish. We're going to take her to see Mr. Cougar, I guess. Before the sun sets on us. Hey, Bo, please don't eat that. Bo, Bo. Bo. Yeah, there's Bo pooping on the side of the hill. She likes doing that, I guess. How's it coming? Yeah? Uh, there's Mr. Cougar right there. And some folk up there in the levee. Doing something strange. They're picking stuff out of the, uh, maybe the huckleberry in the, uh, in the dike there. I'm not quite sure what they're looking for. Anyway, I'm gonna, um, I don't really wanna take her down to the water because of the fish hazard. Uh, she's already been down to the river once today. Uh, we'll probably walk through this parking lot and see if I can find a place to throw this ball at her, I guess is the plan. Bo, here. Don't run off on me like that. Here she comes. Yeah, I'm not sure where she's going. She wants to go up on this dock, I guess. That's fine. I don't know. Yeah, I brought Bo down here to the water to get a drink, but we're gonna get the hell out of here. That's a dead fish right there. Bo, come on, here. Here, come on, come on. No water, we'll find another place, come on. Okay, that's it, follow me, over here, come on. Okay, you can drink this oily water if you want. Bo, here. I'm gonna be yelling at this dog today. She's just kind of out of control. You can see. You wanna get some water? All right, she doesn't need any water. It's freaking 40 degrees out here. She probably didn't really get too thirsty on this here walk. There's probably dead fish in the leaves there, though. Bo, walk with me. Camina, Camingo. Come on. Vamanos. Come on. Spanish never works, neither. Oh. Well, I forgot we're gonna do a little more ball play. So let's see if I can set her up for a good place. No, this is Squirrel Alley. I don't think there's any squirrels out right now. Hey, Bo. Bubba. Ready? Bo ball. Bo ball. I can almost guarantee she's not going to chase after this. Bo. Yeah. Oh. Go on, Bo. Get it. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up a little harder. Go on. <laughs> hey, Bo, 
no, she's distracted again. See that? That's your typical sign of distraction. Her not listening to me whatsoever. So I think she must be onto a squirrel. Yeah. Find it. She's not really good at finding these balls. She's looking at those people doing something strange. Bo, here! I'm gonna find out what they're picking at, I guess, at the levee. Bo, here! Here! Oh, I think she's still looking for the ball, actually. Sorry, Bo. Oh, no. What the hell is she doing? Hey, Bo, I'm gonna ask you what you're doing. I think she's just uh, distracted by those folk. Doing that, whatever they're doing over there. Oh, she does have, she has the ball. You had the ball the whole time? Bring it. Bo, bring me the ball. Good girl. All right, mystery solved. What they was doing was, is there a rock hounding actually? So they're picking up all these rocks. Like, like for instance, this would be a rock they want to hound. I wonder why they didn't see that one. That's houndable. And then they uh, polish some of them up and, uh, which is fine. Uh, I told them that I was kind of an amateur rock hound because I used to be a geologist and that did not impress them at all. Uh, but they did like the dog and their little baby girl liked the dog too. So um, it was interesting. The dude had a beard. I think, I think I probably should have grown a beard this year. I regret not doing so. Um, hey, Bobo. Bo, come on. Bo, here. It's me yelling at the dog again. She's looking down at something, probably trash. Bo, come on, I'm leaving. It's getting cold. I got the wrong glasses on for the setting sun. Let's move. Let's move more. Oh, Bo's rock hounding. Come on, Bo, come on. Bo, seriously, seriously, Bo, come on, here. Those sons of bitches with their dog just turned around and they're walking down the same way. And, uh, whoops. So I guess we'll go ahead and urban walk back home. We haven't done this urban walk in a while. It'll be fun. Not that those sons of bitches, the dog looked nice. Uh, I got no problem with the dog or the sons of bitches. I just didn't want to have to deal with them. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm carrying the ball flinger, the phone camera and the leash all the same deal. And it's just too much to put Bo on the leash. And uh, well, I guess I got to put her on the leash anyway. Hey Bo. Well, now we're in Jefferson Park, almost back home. Bo, here. Oh, she might be ready for something. This is a good setting for that kind of activity. Bring it. Bo, here, come on. Oh. Yeah, you see she's just tearing up the lawn again. I gotta get working with her on this behavioral aberration. Upstairs. 
Nice job. Well, it's 10 a.m., 28 degrees, Thursday morning, and uh, that there's Bo. We're taking her up the river here for a little while to uh, run some of this energy out of her. And it's snowing a little bit, which she does enjoy, and so hopefully um, this will be an enjoyable walk for her. Right now, she's eating some more of that grass material that she likes that really is making her poops difficult I've noticed so I gotta keep after her to have a little less fiber in her daily diet okay Well, this is the first stop. This is swing hole number one. The ducks are getting the hell out of here. Smart. Uh, Bo, let's move on. This is not a good stop. That better not be a fish. Bo, come on. Come on. Leave it, please. Bo, that's a bird right there. Well, this is scheduled stop number two, swimming hole number two. Hey, Bo, all the ducks are this way. I don't know if you can see them. They're all swimming away again. gonna stand there whistling Dixie or what? Whoa. Here. Yeah, I don't know what got into her right there. She's acting wild. So she did just poop. And for the first time ever, I'm actually carrying her poop with me in my pocket. Uh, because it's too cold out here to have my hand out of my pocket. My poop carrying hand. Well, because of the, oh, look all those goose, geese, uh, because of the, uh, where she uh, pooped, we're headed up right through that field of geese where the trash can is. This might get ugly. Well, I think those birds uh, learned a lesson not to be out here up on the uplands when Bo's out because uh, I almost feel that she could have got one or two of them there. 
Hey, Bo. Problem is now all the goose poop. That's her uh, ironic uh, revenge. Bo, don't eat that, please. Come on, let's go to the trash can. Come on. It's right there. You coming? Come on. All right, this looks like the, some members of the ill-fated uh, bike club coming out. Layla and Christopher and the baby Vincent, I think. Pretty sure. Come on. Good morning, Kevin. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's so many ducks down there. Where'd she go? Oh. Yeah, now she's standing in the water there. Okay. Bo, come on. If you see all these ducks, that's the uh, drum I'm standing on Sunday. Obviously, the tide's in last couple days. All right, let's roll, Bo. I gotta work. Come on. I don't know if this is time or the place for this. Uh, car's coming. Come here. Thank you. Two cars, actually. Yeah, I don't know if she's serious right now about all this. Well, thus endeth the walk. Come on, Bo, come on. and go for a walk. Okay, come on. Huh, I was hoping she'd come and attack me, but nothing. Well, it's four o'clock on Thursday, December 3rd. Even though I said yesterday was December 3rd, I'm pretty sure Today is December 3rd, that there's Bo. We're gonna do a very quick, very quick afternoon walk. Um, hey Bo, leave it, leave it. Stop eating that. I got the uh, e-collar on her for this afternoon. So we're gonna do a little training on her not eating the grass. It's starting to kind of uh, weigh on my nerve a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll just go down and see Mr. Cougar. It's always fun. We're going to do some kind of different walk sometime this week. Uh, instead of these standard walks that are getting pretty boring for Bo. And for me and probably my viewers. She seems a little less frisky. I just woke her up, so I think it's going to take her a little while to get her energy. The same lady and the same dog at the same time as yesterday coming up, Bo. 
What do you think about that? Oh, cyclist. Bo, here. Bo, here. Stand down and ignore that dog that's coming up. Stand down. Thank you. All right, she just got her friskiness back. Okay, go. Yeah, this is more of the of the view of Bo on our freezing cold walk. There are a couple cyclists that we waited to pass, and so now we should have a pretty good uh, free rain here. Here. Yeah, I found that it's better to, to kind of jog and then to walk. To, and it kind of heats, heats me up a little bit. I didn't bring any thermal clothing. Oh, hey, Bo. Here. problem is that she's kind of outrunning me. Bo, here. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to go to the gazebo trash can because Bo just pooped. And uh, for the second time today, I'm, I'm actually carrying her poop in my coat jacket pocket. Uh, and it should hold up pretty good. It's a Winco bag. And we got another couple months of availability of those bags. But the uh, California governor has outlawed them because of the environment. And uh, it's gonna be difficult going forward um, carrying poop in my pocket when we have to switch to paper sacks or some some bullshit uh, I'm sorry for the language Andreas but every time I hear about California governor outlined plastic bags kind of makes me angry uh, okay this is a totally unplanned stop but Something Bo wants to do. There's probably a dead fish down here. Oh, yeah, there is. Hey, Bo. Bo, here. Bo, let me suss out this area. I forgot whether, whether there's a dead fish down here or not. We go to so many god darn swimming holes. Uh, yeah, if I suspicion there's something in there uh, a couple days ago. Wasn't there? Well, it's a good water break, I guess. What? No, let's go. I got this poop that's kind of burned a hole in my pocket here. Okay, hold up, Bo. What you eating, Bo? Roots, it looks like. No, no, hey, Bo, come on. Here. Bo, we're not going down there. Here. I think she's trying to run away from me there. We gotta go to the gazebo trash can. This is typical. She learned this from, uh, from Sam, I believe. What she'll do is she'll roll around on the ball like that. A lot of adults use balls, lacrosse balls I've heard, for similar massages. And Bo is, uh, that's what 
That's what a dog will do. Okay, hold on. Let me get this ball, Bo. Oh. Hope that poop bag didn't explode on me. There's another damn fool out here. Well, this is the gazebo trash can area. It kind of held up, poop held up pretty good, but it uh, started warming up because it was close to me. And I can start smelling it pretty bad, but it's all taken care of now. Hey, easy, Bo. Stay right here. Bo, right here. Hey, Bo, where are you going? Oh, there's some poop right there, actually. Hey, Bo. Bobo, end of the line. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was that same dog that was running earlier. I heard it bark, but I looked the wrong direction. I didn't even know it was coming up on us, but it was a nice little visit. Uh, I'm gonna give him some room. I guess we'll go a little further. I just need to be cognizant of that dead fish that's down there by the dock. Well, now we're here in Squirrel Alley, but I don't think there's any squirrels out right now. We're gonna uh, extend this walk a little further, further than planned, and uh, kind of walk the full length of the levee on the way back. Hey, Bo here. Bo here. Thank you. I didn't expect some crazy person to be out here running. Okay. Uh, hey, Bo, come on. Hey, Bo. Bo. Or a crazy person driving in this extreme weather. I guess we'll go to gazebo number two. Oh, it's nice in here. Hey, Bo. Bo, Bo. Bo, here. Thank you. Well, now we're up at the far, far end of the levee. Bo, we're going back this way. There's a Sterling's restaurant. Took Tammy and Carl there once. It's all shut down though for the season. Uh, no going out for Christmas dinners a month before Christmas. Not in the state of Washington, not with the California governor. But the uh, city lights are up there right there. We'll do another walk later when it gets closer to Christmas with Bo. But for now, we're just gonna um, walk down this uh, full length of this levee because it'll be fun. Wow. Mental note, if I ever get a uh, outdoor fire pit, it's a good supply of wood right there. Bring it up, Bo, so I don't have to go down there. Bring it. Bo, bring it. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, good enough. Well, thus endeth another Another one of our walks. Let's try to run this dog down the hill here. Where did she go? That's it. Oh! Well, that's our first uh, attempt at Christmas lights. A little garish, but that's the point. And then in the bay window there is something my mom gave me. It's a golden retriever themed little uh, light up display. So I should have opened the window there, but uh, we might uh, get a little more motivated and, and uh, do more of this decoration stuff tomorrow. I don't know about that though. It's good enough. 
maybe every year we'll put up another strand to accentuate the garage. I can see myself putting a strand up there. Maybe, but I doubt it. All right. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's uh, what time is it? It's 7.05 and I, I just keep, keep looking for Bo downstairs where I'm doing my activities. I can't find her anywhere and then she's up here in the bed. <laughs> 